Do you, so want, you, do you want to also tell me you're filming then? Don't, it, let's it, not have it both ways. Let's have it both ways, all right? So let's have it both ways. All right. I'll Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Audit in Yorkshire. So I've come along to Leicester today guys, to HMP Leicester. Now this is a Category B men's local prison, located on Welford Road in Leicestershire. Now the term local means that it holds people on remand to the local courts, as well as sentenced prisoners. Leicester Prison is operated by His Majesty's Prison Service, and is situated immediately north of Nelson Mandela Park, formerly Welford Road Recreation Ground. Now, I've had my eye on this place, guys, for quite a while since I watched a video of PTTP. Uh, he came down here and uh, he did an audit and they got hands on with him. Now, basically, they were having an agree to disagree discussion with one of the screws where they were basically saying it's private property you need to leave etc 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 he was saying uh, it's a civil matter they were saying well I'm going to call police and he basically said the police can't do all because it's a civil matter blah 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 uh, then the prison officer who I think uh, may have been a principal officer of, of someone of, you know, some seniority turned round and said that it will forcibly remove him because he has the powers of a constable. Bearing in mind, powers of uh, even a constable. Technically, you can't forcibly remove you because it's private property. It's a civil matter. Uh, this guy was very, very horrible. And he basically got hands on with PTTP, walked him out of the grounds, but instead of guiding him like he should have done, you know, and walked him properly, he basically walked him and then pushed him out of the, uh, the gate, which there was no need to do. Uh, you know, it's technically, that's assault. I don't know if PTTP put a complaint in uh, to the prison regard regarding this. I hope he did. I hope he put a civil claim in. Uh, I've not spoke to him, so I'm unaware. So I thought I'd come down here to cover that story, to find out if that prison officer is still working here, because PTTP said to him, is that how you treat your prisoners? Is that how you treat your inmates? The prison officer smiled, nodded his head and said yes. Absolutely disgusting behaviour. Cannot believe it, it's the worst prison audit. I've ever seen and I've seen a lot of them and I've been to it and I've done a lot of them and it's the worst experience I've seen any auditor go through uh, so I will say this is pretty much slap bang in middle of town centre city centre uh, a lot of people do mistake this for uh, being Leicester Castle and it was right here it, it, it we're here actually right here where PTTP got pushed out so he actually walked up to that door there that one there uh, he had a discussion with three screws they guided him they walked him down here and then he got pushed out absolutely disgusting I'm gonna come back to you in a second and try and find out of his officers details Yes, guys, so it was LC563, that's Lima Charlie 563. He's the boss. Um, he's the senior officer. So, I'm not going to go into information yet. I'm going to see if I can get um, any interactions with anyone. So, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold him to account. I'm going to show him video. I am going to put a link in the description to PTTP's uh, full video, actually, of HMP Leicester. And I've also uh, put a clip um, in uh, from when he was, basically the, the prison officer uh, admitting to 
to treat him at the convicts uh, like he like he treated PTTP, pushing them around and stuff like that, nodding and smiling. I uh, put the clip in this video. Uh, so there's all the usual stuff: H and P, uh, Leicester uh, Prison Act 1952. That we've gone through that tons and tons of times. Uh, there's a list of prohibited items. Feel free to pause that and read it. Yeah, your own pleasure. So I'm going to come back to you with some information on this place, guys. So it's uh, it's Cat B, guys. 408 population as of July 13. It's probably gone up considerably since then. Uh, opened in 1828. Uh, Jim Donaldson is the governing governor. Uh, according to Colin Crosby, a blue badge guide based in Leicester, tourist uh, recently asking for prison is Leicester Castle, which I've told you about. Uh, due to the embattled medieval design of its frontage and its unique appearances, uh, has also made it one of the city's most celebrated landmarks, known throughout the 19th century as the County Jail. Today, the prison has become uh, famous uh, with the thoroughfare on which it stands and commonly referred to as Welford Road Prison or simply Welford Road. Uh, but I did tell you, it's got a castle style look to it, didn't I? Do you know what I mean? So it is a nice prison. I'm going to get some pictures on DSLR. Uh, prison were designed by Leicester County Surveyor William Parsons to resemble a castle and it cost 20 grand. Uh, the oldest part dates from 1825 and it was opened in 1828. Uh, the gatehouse including uh, the adjoining building to the north and south of the perimeter wall are grade 2 listed. Uh, journalist William Cabet who wrote about the journeys around England in the early 19th century criticised people of Leicester for being proud of their new prison feeling that it would be more praiseworthy to have uh, an absence of crime the prisoners the prison's distinctive red brick perimeter wall are thought to be the highest in the country with an estimated height of 30 feet uh, the only the only known uh, escape by a prisoner through scaling the wall was an ill-fated one made by renowned safe blower Albert uh, Hattersley on the evening of the 18th of December 1953. Hattersley made his way through a skylight in the prison's workshop and used the webbing, a long pipe which he had broken from a wall in the workshop toilets to help him scale the wall. He then chose to drop by his fingertips uh, from a part of the wall which was located above the governor's garden in the hope that the soft earth would help break his fall. However, Hattersley suffered a broken ankle with his right tibia uh, protruding the skin. After several hours on the run, he was recaptured the following day. In 2014, it was reported that prison officers uh, had a similar plan, had thwarted a similar plan for escape over the wall by an inmate who was serving six years for robbery. In describing what was envisioned by the inmate, as a Shawshank Redemption-style prison break. The Leicester Mercury reported that following a search of his cell, prison guards had discovered torn bed sheets uh, tied together to form ropes, uh, along with the mattress cover adjusted for use in negotiating barbed wire. It was reported they also discovered a boarded-up section in the cell uh, with a panel that could be removed to act as a hole in the prisoner. Uh, the prisoner had been digging. Yeah, sorry about that, that guy put me off beeping me on. So a panel, um, they discovered a boarded up section in the cell with a panel that could be removed to access a hole the prisoner had been digging.
Don't want to talk. We've got some interesting, notable inmates, guys. Interesting, notable inmates. We've got Brian Keenan. Not sure who he is. We've got Mark Morrison. Um, the guy who was famous for the hit single, Return of the Mac. Don't know if anyone's seen that. Uh, Ricky Tomlinson. Ah, now Ricky. Let me find the screenshot I took of why Ricky Tomlinson were in here. Now, Ricky Tomlinson is best known for his role as Jim Royal in the Royal Family uh, TV sitcom. However, not many people will have known that the illustrious actor had been convicted in 1973 of conspiracy to intimidate, unlawfully assemble an affray. <coughs> he was sentenced to two years imprisonment. So he's been in all sorts as Ricky Tomlinson. He's been in Brookside, he's been in uh, Taggart, uh, Royal Family, just to name a few. They are behaving themselves so far, guys. They are behaving themselves. I'm gonna come back to you in a few minutes. Hey, sorry, is it LC five six three? LC five six three. Liam Charlie five sixty three. He's a prison officer. I think he's a senior. No. Right, well, we've had a couple of people walk past us, guys. And they've not said, oh, they, they all seem to be behaving. Uh, seen people at the gate. Yes, this gate here where the prisoners go in. Everyone's behaving, no one's saying, oh. LC563 is here. I'm not too sure, mate. Prison officer. I'm not too sure, mate. Lima Charlie 563. Ever heard of him? No. Leave me Charlie 563. No, I've not heard of him yet. No. That's the first step of reasonable force. The first step. Is this how you treat your prisoners? Is it? Yes. That's how you treat your prisoners? Oh, there we go. That's how he treats his prisoners. Mate, you're going to get so fucking fired for that. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. No, so no, he would have screw. We were just talking to because he had his... Um, his... Uh, his keychain on, his keychain. We all like locking them up, don't we? Bring it back to you if we get any interactions, guys. D563, love, do you know who he is? Prison officer. I don't really know. Uh, is there anyone in there I can speak to? I can't go in there. Oh, I can't know. Because every time I go in the prison, they always threaten to uh, to arrest me. Oh, okay. Even though I'm not doing no wrong. Okay. So I just don't go in anymore. No, makes sense. But uh, I can't help you. he's quite a big lad. He's got a bald head. Just wondering if you know him. I don't know him. So can I, I just ask you what what is staff like in here? Are they all right? Oh, I hate it when people don't talk to me. Really frustrating. Good work here, mate. You all right to have a chat? I'm, I'm just doing a documentary on building. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's history, what it's like, not bullying mates, that kind of thing. I don't know much about it, but... How long have you worked here? Not long, a couple of months. Uh, do you know an officer who goes by LC563? Hi. I don't, I don't really know officers by the numbers, I just Hi. know them by the names. Oh, it, well, he's quite a big chap and he's got a bald head. Quite a few have got bald heads as well. Right. The reason I'm asking is because um, a friend of mine got accosted here quite badly, got hands on. Yeah. And when he, said, when he turned around to the officer and said, is that how we treat your inmates? He basically smiled, nodded his head and said, yeah, which I think is absolutely disgusting. So, can I just ask you, um, obviously... 
you know, you could tell me the truth or you could lie. Yeah. But if I said to you, uh, the inmates in this place, obviously they're not happy because they're in prison, but are they relatively happy? Do they get support and the help and, and stuff like that off the personal officers, what they need? I would like to say so, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are you a personal officer? I am an officer, yeah. Because if I were one, I'd like to think that, you know, we're trying to, to make people turn their lives around and make a difference, make a change, that kind of thing. And then when you've got people like him basically saying, yeah, I treat my prisoners like shit, it, it puts a really, really bad look on the prison itself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because people, thousands and thousands and thousands of people have seen that on YouTube. And I'm surprised. I mean, I don't know if you've had more people coming here since. Yeah. But it won't surprise me if you had. It won't surprise, it, it won't surprise me if you get more people coming. Um, you know the governor of the building? I know the governor of the prison, yeah. It, like the governing governor, is he, is he available to, I, I, to speak with? I, I, is he I, in today? I've I'm, I'm just got here. I've, I'm a late star, so I haven't even been in yet. Have you not been in? No. <laughs> no, that's not a problem. I'm the only person to be talking to. No, no, it's fine. Um, apart from that, do you enjoy working here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Do you enjoy helping people and stuff? And yeah. It's a bit like social services at, your, at times is your job, isn't it, I imagine? With some stuff you've got to deal with. It can be a rewarding job. It, do you know what it is, mate? It's very rewarding. It's not like the police. The police is not a rewarding job. Mm. You know, I think people become police officers. Some, yeah, granted, some people can join the police to make a difference and to, to help the community, and there are some genuine ones out there. But there's tens and tens of thousands of corrupt police officers in this country. It's, it's absolutely unreal. And I think a lot of them lose sight on what we actually, why they actually joined up and just turn to corruption. Do you know what I mean? But I'm hoping it's not like that here. There are some prisons where um, the staff aren't very approachable and stuff, and you know, they don't want to know about what gate time of day, so I appreciate you for you know, standing there and having a chat with me and stuff. It's fine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, really appreciate it. I'll see if uh, anyone else wants to have a chat before I go. All right. Take it easy, my man. See you later. Hey mate, alright? Yeah, you. Not bad. Just looking for a, an officer, but I don't know if you'll know him. LC563. Oh no, numbers got me, no to me, mate. You don't know him? on this part of the thing you talk to film all you like I'm waiting for somebody what are you doing here if you don't mind me asking I've come to uh, I've come all this way especially to see one of your officers LC563 right. do you know him not without surname uh, I've only got his collar number I can tell you then yeah welcome to film all you like you know that obviously but you just need to do it from that side because this isn't open to the public because this is a private part well this is what I'm saying, what I said to your colleague. There is uh, there's an implied right of access from Main, That's from main there, Street. Man. That's through there. Yeah. If you, if you, you're you haven't got any gates or open. Walk up here and walk up to there. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is there's no signs on here. That's right. You haven't even got a gate, look. Well, that's, that may be, but obviously I'm informing you now, so yeah. now you're aware. Oh, that's fine. You're allowed on here. No, so I've informed you of that. Thanks now. for informing me. Okay. Uh, if, if you want to um, get somebody of, of a high rank to come out and have a word with me, I'd really appreciate it. I'll ask that. if there's anyone available, but other than that, you have a good day, sir. Uh, yeah, because right. I've, I've got a very interesting video I'd like them to see. That's fine. I'll press that on for you. It's about 30, it's about 30 seconds long. Do you want yep. me to show you it? Uh, no, you're fine. I'll get somebody from a high rank for you. That's the first step of reasonable force. The first step. Is this how you treat your prisoner? It's not even 30 seconds, mate. It's it's about five seconds. In. I'd love to have a look, but I need to get back Just in. Just watch this. That's how you treat your I apologise to you, mate, but Is I need it? to get back in. That's how okay. you treat your prisoners. Do you know him? Uh, oh, I do. That's Excuse how he me? treats his prisoners. Mate, you're going to yeah, get so fucking... If he's available, that. tell him I'd no, like a chat. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. The meeting. That's the first... So he has come out, he has informed me that I am on private property. There is an implied right of access. Uh, I know people hate me saying that, but it's true. And uh, this, this chap here who's informed me does know the prison officer in question. So we can't hang about for a considerable amount of time, guys, because I've got to get myself to Shropshire. 
Um, I've got some of, some of what I am doing up there later on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang about for about five or ten minutes, uh, see if I can get a chat with anyone else. Uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get some drone footage and go, guys. Um, in fact, I don't think I went through the rest of the notable inmates with you, did I? Let's have a quick look. <coughs> so, notable inmates. We've got Brian Keenan, Mark Morrison, Ricky Tomlinson, so we got to Ricky Tomlinson. Charles Bronson, he's been in here. But let's face it, guys, what prison in the UK aren't Charles Bronson been in? We've got the Cray Twins, yes. Ronnie and Reggie, they were in this bad boy. And we've got William Thomas Hughes, and he's going back, dated way back. I mean, look, look, look at that guy, so is she trying to intimidate me by coming to the coming to the door with the dogs with the sniffer dogs a little prison patrol mutts, don't get me wrong guys that vote against dogs but yeah she uh, she come to the door, it looks like she, looked like she was going to have a word with me and then she just uh she ran back in. Yeah? I just want to go home. Can you not take pictures of me? Go over if you want. Yeah, I do. I just don't want you taking pictures or anything of me. Is that well, okay? that's, that's what I'm doing, but feel free to... I'm not stopping you leaving. No, no. I don't want you taking my picture. Why not? I'm asking you not to do, so I can go home. Have you been working today? Yes. So you've been getting your picture taken all day long? Well, what's the difference between me filming and this prison filming? There's no difference, is there? I'm not stopping you leaving. <laughs> oh, dear me. You are being watched. And the Crown accepts no liability at law in respect of loss. Of or damage to any vehicle, its content or accessories. See what I mean? Look, you are being watched. This car park is covered by closed circuit television cameras, and she's she's bothered about me filming. We'll stand over here, so give a give a chance to go. You all right, love? Who's that? I said, you all right, love? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you doing, yeah? I recognise you. No, no, you won't know me. I won't, yeah, I'm all right, you? You guys are, uh, you guys are passing tests so far. Oh, right, yeah, in, in, you're in, right. In respect of how, how I'm treated on I thought on, maybe on it was site. like a contract of I normally see and he's just got his thingy open, I don't know. No, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, you're... Are you, a, are you a prison officer? Oh, no. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Don't lie to me. You all right? You a prison officer? You look like one. She definitely is. Not a prison officer, mate. Well, she ain't works, is she? She's got a prison jacket on. See ya. See that sign up there, look. You are being watched.
Well, I think I'm going to have to call it a day here, guys, because we're obviously not getting anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure how many... I'm not sure how many auditors have been since PTTP's video. But, uh, from a personal perspective, from a personal... Personally, personal, personally, whatever, I am being accosted. I am being hassled. I was informed I was on private property. Uh, and that was it. Now, like I said, guys, the link is going to go in the description for PTT, PTTP's video. And I please, I want you to go watch it. I do want you to go watch it because you will see right there, right there, it was accosted by three of them. And then he got pushed out of there by that balder, LC563, whatever it's called. And then he laughed. And he's like, yeah, I've treated the prisoners like that. So, I know I keep going on about it, guys, but absolute disgusting behaviour. Please go watch the video. Uh, but I am running out of time. I've got to be somewhere else. Uh, we're going to get some drone footage, guys, and then I'm going to come back to you. Right guys, we're in the sky. Let's go get a look at this bad boy. So we're gonna get some quick draw footage. And then I'm gonna go, cause I'm actually on my way to Shropshire uh, for something and I'm running late. So H&P Leicester. From a bird's eye view perspective. I don't think, it's not actually as big as it looks, is it? Oh, it's not actually as big as it looks. It looks a lot bigger. It looks a lot bigger from the outside. Well, we are outside, but you know what I mean. Up front. I think that's a works entrance. Uh, visitors area. That's where the prisoners in. But yeah, not as big as it looks, guys. That's H and P Leicester. I'll see you back on the ground. Right guys, we are back on the ground. Uh, the drone footage is uh, completed. Uh, nobody else has come out. No, no governor, no one in charge has come out to speak to me. Uh, so we are gonna we are gonna go. Hopefully, H and P Leicester have learnt, have learnt uh, a valuable lesson. Uh, do not approach members of the public speak to members of the public like shit and more importantly guys if you are listening any any screws prison officers what are listening more importantly don't treat your prisoners like that because they are still human beings yeah they are banged up they're locked up whatever but they're still human beings i know what goes on in prisons trust me i know what goes on in prisons and it's absolutely disgusting it needs to stop. You need to be changing lives, not making them worse. So that being said, guys, we are going to wrap it up. We are going to head to the next location in a minute. Like I said, hopefully they've learnt a valuable lesson because no one's bothering me. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, you know, you know what to do. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one. Yeah, you know what?
Not really, mate. I've got to be somewhere. All right, OK. Well, we need to have a chat with you. Um, For what? Well, apparently there's been some issues at the uh, prison and you've uh, been loitering around taking some photos. So they've called us just to find out, find out what's going on. All right. So, uh, can you ID yourself? Yeah, of course I can. My name's Rihanna. My column number is 1065. I work at Mansfield House Police Station. Right, uh, what about you? I'm Zach. I'm my column number is 4500. Alright, no worries. Uh, so next time, for, next time you call people, just let me know you're filming, yeah? Alright. Yeah, do, so do you want to also tell me you're filming then? Don't, it, let's it, not have it both ways. Let's have it both ways, alright? So let's what's have it your both ways. Alright, I'll tell you what it is, Miss Attitude. Okay. It's in your code of practice, darling. Okay. To let members of the public know that you're filming them. So in my code of practice. Okay. It's in yours. Right, okay. Do we agree? No, I don't agree. Do you actually. know that? Do you, but Zach? You... Do you agree, Zach? Well, Thing is, when you're filming you people, the, are you, do you agree you're supposed to let people know? It's also to cover our own backs. Yeah, but it's in your code whenever, of practice. Whenever we go and speak to people, we yeah. never know what people are going to be like, so they're so automatically turned on. But first available we opportunity, just, okay. which obviously I'm not hostile, you got out, you said hello, by the way, okay, I'm just going to record you. Well, you know that we're filming, so we've, I do. we've got that. Point. I'm just letting you know, okay? I'm not making a big deal out of it, I'm just letting you know that's what you're supposed to do. Do you want to tell me what you were doing by the prison? Come on, call it. Not really, no. Okay. Well, I think you've been, you've been picked up on camera. And but you already course. know what I've been doing. Okay, what is that then? Like? Taking pictures. Okay. What, are you taking pictures of? The prison. I think okay. we should be alright. Any reason why? Uh, yeah, because I want to. Because okay. I'm allowed to. Right. Well, obviously, you can understand that we get some concern with regards to the prison. Cause oh, well, that's... People, we get a lot of people going outside trying to throw things over. Well, that's not my problem, but... Well, no, but you can understand the concern that we've got, can't you? Yeah, I understand it, but I don't really care. Um, there's also a mention about putting up a drone. Do you have a drone with you as well? Yeah. Okay. Were you putting the drone up near the prison? The drone did go up, yeah. Okay. It didn't go over the prison because that's illegal. Mm. You and I both know that. But the drone did go up to get some aerial, aerial uh, photographs of the, of the prison. How high did you go? How high? About 40 metres. Not very high. 46 metres, something like that. What's you just in the prison? What's my interest? Yeah. I'm a citizen journalist. So, uh, I visit multiple prisons throughout the UK and I do uh, mini documentaries on them. Now, the, I've, I've come down to Leicester Prison today, especially, to see if I can bump into somebody, a prison officer who works there. Uh, I asked some of his colleagues, if they didn't want to comment, I showed them the video on my phone. Uh, they didn't want to comment. Would you like to see the video? Yeah. Well, yeah. What's the video of? I'll show you now. <laughs> so this is uh, a video. Is it your load of YouTube or something? This is a video of somebody I know right. who came and did a visit at the, pl at the, the you know the uh, the prison. Yeah. So when you know when you go in, you've got your your visitors Personally, bit I've there. Never been in the prison. All right. Well, when you go in, you've got your visitors bit there. Yeah. And he was accosted by three prison officers. So I'll show you this. Listen to this. There's an LC five six three. Is the boss? The sorry, it was an LC five six three. Is the boss? Oh, sorry, it's not that one. That's the first step of reasonable force. The first step. Is this how you treat your prisoners? Is it? Yes. That's how you treat your prisoners? Oh, there we go. That's how he treats his prisoners. Mate, you're going to get so fucking fired for that. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Absolutely okay. disgusting. Uh, uh, he got hands on right. with this uh, citizen journalist, you know. He said they guided him right. to leave. Because you can use reasonable force in civil trespass. So instead of guiding him, he dragged him and then he pushed him out of the uh, entry point, which was witnessed by two of the prison officers and a camera. Now, I don't know what's happened to this prison officer. I don't know if he's been disciplined. I don't know if he's been sacked. I've come down here today to, to basically see what kind of response I get mm -hmm. because um, stuff like that needs highlighting. Okay. Do you agree? I don't, don't disagree, no. So if I went, you know, it's like people go to police stations filming, recording, they get, you know, uh, falsely detained under Terrorism Act and Section 1 of Pace, Section 50 and all that jazz. Uh, the police do that uh, be, be, because they're abusing the powers. They shouldn't be doing it. They're abusing the powers. So we, we, we like, as citizen journalists, we like to um, 
raise them points with, with members of public and hi highlight them issues so people can see, people know what goes on in the world. So that's the main reason I've come down here today. What, what sort of attitude did you get back from there? Uh, it was very good to be honest. Yeah. I'd served a pass for test. Uh, an officer good. came out, he, he did say, um, you know, you're not meant to be in here because I rent car park. Mm -hmm. It's in his private property, blah, blah, blah. I says, right, yeah, I understand, but what you've got to understand is there's an implied right of access, there's no gate, there's no signs, which there isn't. Okay. Now you've asked me to leave. I said, I'm going to be leaving in a minute anyway, so it's not a big deal. But even then, it, it's civil pretty civil trespass, isn't it? So they've called the police because I've been walking around the car park. Think, yeah, they phoned us just because they were a little bit that's, concerned that it, That's a waste it, of taxpayers' money, is that? something a little bit more than, obviously, what you're doing. That's yeah. also, which is why we've come out to speak to you and to make sure that you aren't flying that drone over the areas that you shouldn't do and that you, you do know the legislation around it. I can't sit here and go, I know all the legislation around it because I don't own a drone. Well, I'm a registered drone pilot and I've been flying drones for so, seven so years. You, so you know it all, which is fine. Yeah. You don't need, don't need me to stand here and tell you what you can and can't do with it but obviously yeah. they don't they obviously didn't know that and that's why they've rang us especially when they drove no no it's fine um out. and obviously if there's nothing untoward going on then there's nothing untoward going on at all a lot of police who come out they don't bother me with drones because they know i know what i'm doing i've only ever been detained once from that at nottingham prison um but it's safe to say that that guy's been dealt with and i'm suing police as a result of it uh, but apart from that there's no um nefarious reasons or anything why I've come down here. Yeah, and obviously you can understand from our point that we do get people that hang outside the prison that have got wrong intentions or trying to sort of commit some... Completely of... understand. Exactly. But it's, so you can it, understand why we were called and why we were um, to, to see what's going on. It's what, Christmas in about a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. I am not going to take that risk. No, but also... So, I, be, I don't even know anyone in there, say, anyway. With it being Christmas, you get a lot of people throwing stuff over. We've had drones fly over as well and drop stuff in as well, so... Again, yeah. you can it see the happen. concern. Yeah, it does happen. Um, would you be happy to provide any details, sir? Or no. No. Are you happy with the explanation I've given no. you? I don't see why Why not. We've, yeah, they were concerned that you were flying a drone. Yeah. Someone spoke to you. Have you got the drone footage? Well, yeah, I've got the drone footage, yeah. Do you mind if I see it? Well, yeah, because I'm in, like I said, I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got, I'm uh, on my way to Shropshire and uh, we're meant to be there at two o'clock. Oh, you've got a bit of a drive. A couple of hours. Yeah. What are we doing in Shropshire? I'm going to Shropshire Prison. <laughs> Another one. Um, the, the, um, you know, the tour place, the museum. I don't, I don't yeah, so you, you basically, you can, I booked it online. It's, the prison shut down in 2013. But everything's as it were. Okay. So if you Google Shropshire Prison Visits yeah, you later on, visit. you'll see it. I think I paid 15 quid. And uh, you can go basically have a, have a walk around, do what you want. It's an unguided tour. You can go in, film and, and stuff like that. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to level with you. Um, don't have a YouTube channel. I'm not going to tell you what it is, right? But... I'm no threat to the public. I haven't been up to I, anything. I'm, 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 I'm not. We're not saying you are. Obviously. And I've only told you that. I don't want to get nicked. Otherwise, I'm going to miss me. I'm going to miss my tour. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to have to rearrange and <laughs> come another day. So, usually, I don't even say I've got a YouTube channel, but right. yeah, I do, and that's why I'm down What's here. The footage that you're putting on there is that going to go off? <coughs> uh, potentially. Potentially. So, <coughs> if you um, if you give it. Give it a couple of weeks and sure if you wanted to find it, you'd be able to find it. I hope it. not to find my face on, eh? on YouTube too far. I've got the face of radio now on YouTube. What, are you already on it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're not on YouTube? No, I'm definitely not on YouTube. Well, not, not from my own accord anyway, that's no. for sure. Right. Um, I basically, I, 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 I want, um, having a go at you about like, I want trying to belittle you about your camera, but it's something I feel very strongly about. No, and if you feel strongly about it, it and then I, then you it know, well, I talk to you, and I appreciate that you know you feel strongly enough, and you and you're doing what you're doing because yeah. you feel strongly about it. Um, I think we obviously both got off on the wrong foot, and yeah. my probably attitude towards you to start with, you know, it's probably set you off a little bit higher, but also vice versa because I think the call we had from the prison was that you weren't overly 
polite, shall we say. Overly polite. To, to, to the to the prison, that's all. So oh no, we're absolutely fine. What are they making allegations then, then of, that's, like, then that's, then that's, social that's, behaviour or anything it, like it that? It was more the fact that you were refusing to leave. You were this, that, and the other. So <coughs> it is what it is. But we didn't ask, didn't ask for the details. Did it, uh, if you asked why I were there, I said I'm doing a documentary on prison, and uh, I want to speak to uh, LC some up six five three six five. I think it's called the number. Right. Okay. Um, the tyrant prison officer. Because I were hoping to bump into him, to be honest, because I, I were going to see how he'd deal with me in that same situation. Because I can cate categorically guarantee you he would have come off a lot worse. And that's not me making any physical threats of violence, that's me knowing the law and thinking how I think and doing what I do. So he'd have come off a lot worse than I would have. But it, it does appear HP Leicester have learnt a valuable lesson in how to deal with members of the public. Positive so I left it, yeah. yeah. I did leave on a positive a positive ending. Do you know what I mean? Have you like been watching me on camera or something? We personally haven't, no. <laughs> no. Oh someone else has. The city you were sends picked up a, a picture up, yeah. Because ah. obviously the phone call comes into us and CCTV cameras a picture up and obviously because you, you stick out because you've got a nice high vis jacket out, on. <laughs> I stick out like a sore thumb, don't um, I? We, they've just said you've come down here and we were driving by, so we said we'd come and have a quick chat with you. Well, this is it, you see, you've, you've, you've caught me. You know, not guilty as not charged. So, but yeah, I mean, are you, are you happy, guys? Over the moon. Eh? Over the moon. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yes, I am. Have a good day. Enjoy your trip to Shropshire. Uh, I will do. Uh, you'll, you, you may see me in Leicester again at some point in the future. I have got quite a bit to cover down here. Um, regarding just the prison or you got other things that you're interested in? Other things to, other things to cover, yeah. police stations to cover, yeah. there's, there's, there's tyrants to, to uncover and uh, corrupt police officers everywhere. I'm not saying you two are, I'm just saying they're everywhere. Do you know what I mean? There's a Wayne Cousins in every force. So. Just remember not to tar everyone with the same brushes that. I mean, no, we, we don't. don't. We don't. I don't in any way. I definitely don't. But it's... Uh, it, it's nice that people don't tar me with the same brush as well, because that happens quite a lot. They'll see a guy with a camera and think, oh, it's another, another one of these um, dickheads off, tea, off, uh, off the internet. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, you know, I'm not. I, we, all, we all do things differently and, and work in certain ways. And uh, I always try and be respectful and, until it's time not to be. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? But if... if um, you know, if I, if I get a couple of a couple of uh, you know people like you, it's great, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yes. Would it you is. agree? No, I agree. Completely agree. All right. We'll leave. We'll, uh, we'll leave you be. Let you get on with your day. No, All that's right. fine. Just well, yeah. Just obviously, as long as you understand why we've come to speak to you, that's all. Just because the prison we're concerned, but we've obviously got no reasons to be concerned. No, there's no reasons, but. So I did ask to speak. I did ask to speak to um, to one of the governors, but no one came out. That's why I'm about for so long. And uh, I, I I had a, a conversation with a prison officer as well, young lad, and he were right nice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He didn't tell me to go. He stood and spoke to me, answered me questions and stuff. You know that's that's how you should be dealt with, isn't it? So, what what are you um? Are you like an interceptor or something, you guys? No. No, just work on general. Are these just general police yeah, cars these, in Leicester? These are the new police cars, yeah, that we're rolling yeah. out. Ah, yeah. oh, right, yeah, because they, they look like an interceptor or like like traffic or something. Yeah, not, they're not, not quite as uh, Gucci as yeah. they are, but no. um, yeah, they're nice no, yeah. cars. Well, I mean, you know, up where I live, up in Yorkshire, it's just um, them shitty Peugeots. Yeah, I mean, we've still, yeah. still got, yeah. lot, we've still so, got a lot of the Astros knocking about. These are nice, these, aren't they? Yeah. Until the Astros have gone, then it's it's these that are coming in, yeah. Oh, Where's yeah. in your street from? West. What, what Leeds, Bradford's? Got it in one Leeds. Okay. Is it not? No, Wakefield's one. No Leeds. Oh Leeds. Yeah, yeah. Whereabouts in Leeds? Whereabouts? Yeah. I, I quite like Leeds as a city. I'll what do you want my house number as well? <laughs> <laughs> You'll pop round and have a cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, not far from Armley Prison. Oh, okay. Not far from Armley. Yeah. Um, so this is, I'm, I've lost count now, I think it's 20, 
23rd or 24th prison now what I've visited yeah. is Leicester so I've done a lot of them don't know how many there are in the UK is there many more to go in the UK yeah not far off 200 <laughs> still got a few what, to go there yeah I was going to say what's your plan to go around go to all of them or is there any certain ones well, that you're Is it you're ones really that just come, come in the screen? Sort of no, well, the, the plan was to go to all of them. But what I'm thinking about doing is giving the open prisons a miss. Yeah. Because I, I went to an open... I've only ever done one open prison. No, I've done two. And uh, they're just a nightmare. You know, you can't... You can't do all. No. You know, you. I went to H&P Hatfield and I had to... Because what I do is I talk about the history and what the prison's like and who's notable inmates etc etc and I have to do it all from main road because right. like Leicester where you can walk in say to a car park or onto grounds yeah. legally you can do that in a, cl a closed prison and film because mm -hmm. it, it's not against the law but if you were to go onto the grounds of an open prison as soon as you step on it that's classed as filming within a prison oh, okay. so you can get prosecuted for it which is why Stay clear. I'm thinking of just staying clear of them. Not a bad idea. Massive, massive grey area. Keep yeah. yourself out of trouble. Are open then, so. prisons. And I, I uh, do keep myself out of trouble, believe it or not. Good yeah. Right, yeah. Glad we'll leave to you to uh, yeah. let you get well, on the prisons. Have a good day. Enjoy your uh, Shropshire, you know, wherever I've got plans to go. Yeah, yeah, will do. Nice one. See you later, but, take but, care. Yeah, no, take care. Anywhere. Thank you, mate. Like what you said, you know, about getting off on wrong foot. Got it down to the tee there. But I'm glad it's ended, it's yeah, ended well, hasn't it? It's ended well. So you two have a good day. Look after yourself. See you later.